But now what we've got coming up is the Group A final. That's the start list for you. Tropical Titans in lane one. Coast Dominators are going to be there in lane two. Mighty Oars are going to be there in lane three. Tropical Titans on their boat, uh, Nadu Bhagam. Coast Dominators on their boat, Tambakulam, while Devas is the boat for the Mighty Oars as the crowd looks on. That's right, Tropical Titans in gold, going for gold. Coast Dominators looking to dominate in orange and the Mighty Oars in green with their boat, Davis, looking to fill that energy. And they're off! Yes, straight away you could see the straining of muscle from the Tropical Titans and their helmsman, Praveen Kashyap, right up front. He's trying to give it all. This, of course, remember, in orange is the Coast Dominators team that's uh, run by the United Boat Club on their boat, Chambakulam. Just on this angle, it seems as if the Tropical Titans have got the lead. Well, it might be a titanic hat trick if that's the case, uh, Raman. Yes, uh, I wonder the Titanic as a word always brings two memories. One is the ship that sank, the other is the humongous effort that can be put in. Well, it looks like it's the humongous effort that had to be considered as we have Nadubagam on lane one with the Tropical Titans on board, Chambakulam on lane two with the Coast Dominators on board and Davis in lane three with the Mighty O's NCDC on board. Yes, that's the National Cultural Development Center Boat Club. That's the NCDC on Mighty Oz. But for the moment, it's the Tropical Titans who are off the blocks in a flash. And will they complete a hat-trick of wins? Three out of three in this inaugural edition of the Champions Boat League. Is this what we're going to see from them? Will it be three for three is a good question, but it's also a good question to ask whether they will best their own time on this track today to make it to the top once again to have the best timing in this race. I think it's the best position to be in, having already clocked the fastest time of the day. All you need to do is win this race. Not bother about the time because you'll still get five points and you'll get the ten for a win. At this point in time, it's, they're basically racing against themselves and the clock. And look at them go, look at that synchronous energy, look at that. Tropical title, ladies and gentlemen, on lane one. Coast Dominators on lane two. And Mighty O's on lane three. Look at them go, look at that energy. Look at it as they push forward towards the finish line. About halfway through the race. Let us see what happens. It's all about going to the finish line and putting in an impressive time. Remember, it's the small oar-bearing oarsmen who call the hawkers who are actually up front at the helm of the, the helm remember of the boat these are snake boats and really what a sight it is if you look at it from the top angle they're just sneaking through the water for the moment it's the tropical titans who are leading but remember the challenge is coming from the mighty oars that's right maybe it looks like it's going to be gold for gold once again the tropical titans no contest captain by Narayan and Kuti. Now remember Raman, when I say captain by Narayan and Kuti, it's not necessary for Narayan and Kuti to be on board this particular boat. In fact, the captain might be somebody who's off the boat, giving directions and helping other teams from outside the boat. Absolutely right. Remember, these were the three teams that were there in the first heat of the day and they've been the most competitive teams in general across the three rounds that we've seen so far. From one of the most anticipated and one of the best heats to a heated final. This has been an exciting day here at Karuata, at Karuata in Alapura, ladies and gentlemen. Look at them go, look at that speed, look at that power. It's a hundred man power boat just inching towards victory as we reach 200 meter mark. Look at them go, look at that energy. They're not even tiring, they're not even breaking a sweat at this point in time. Even the minister is in awe as he looks on at the energy of these boatsmen. Is there a late charge coming through from the coast dominators in the central lane? because they initially were flagging but as we head towards the business end of this race you can see the resurgence of the coast dominators they're in lane two the central central lane and they have some fuel left in their tanks but will the tropical titans hold on they're in your picture frames now the white and gold gunning for gold and glory will they get it it's the final hundred meters of the race now towards the finish line you can see the oarsmen straining muscle this is the time when you've got to fight the fatigue, push the pain out of your brain and make that final thrust towards the finish line and it will be a hat-trick of wins!
for the Tropical Titans. Three out of three in three race rounds of the Champions Boat League in its inaugural season. What a moment, ladies and gentlemen. What a moment. The Tropical Titans on Narubagam have done it again. Three times the lucky charm. Third win at the third installment of the Champions Boat League. What a moment. And this win not only guarantees them 10 points for a race win, they've also got overall the fastest time of the day as well. So the Nerolak impressive performer of the day that takes away five bonus points will be the Tropical Titans for the time they clock in the heats earlier. Remember, they're already on top of the table with 25 points at this point in time. And we are adding 10 points for the best team in the finals and five points for the fastest team. The intensity clearly on display if you look at these visuals. Just showing you the kind of effort that the team has put in. Teamwork evident. Remember there was talk about how there were rowers who come in from different states, Haryana, Manipur, Delhi and of course rowers from Kerala for the Tropical Titans. The result in their favour, they've clocked a time of 4 minutes, 12.11 seconds. That's right, Praveen Kashyap, the helmsman of the Tropical Titans, must be thanking his lucky stars tonight as he takes home a third victory for the Tropical Titans.